For those who don't know me, my name is Derek Smith, and I am a four-time best-selling author of satirical political books, and today I am announcing my intent to officially run in the next municipal election for mayor of the city of Calgary. Unprecedented things have happened within my city of Calgary in the last decade, including mayors who continue to spend money frivolously, who overtax, who overutilize policies, who bend laws to their will in order to suit their needs, who impose woke ideologies and put our children at risk. I believe in freedoms, I believe in the right to protest, and I believe that our children should be safe. Jody Gondek has recently put out a letter stating that anybody who identifies in a certain way is now allowed to walk into any city-run facility, meaning a pool or gymnasium, and change in front of your children and watch them undress. And I intend, if elected as mayor, to repeal these rules immediately. While I am all for someone's sexual orientation or preference, when it comes to sexualization, exploitation of children needs to come to an end. Children have the right to be children. This is completely and utterly unacceptable and I condemn that letter. I believe that there is nothing but corruption in our current city hall and the time to remove the corruption is at hand. This mayor who has called on a climate emergency in one of the cleanest cities in the world and has damned our oil and gas industry is unacceptable. Alberta has been known to have some of the cleanest and safest practices within the oil and gas industry and I intend to end such foolish claims and move forward in a prosperous way for the citizens of this city. Every year like clockwork, this city has raised property taxes for its citizens, raised business taxes, all on the backs of funding unnecessary projects, artwork and different studies that have no meaning to this city. On a scale of 1 to 10 we are charging people on an 11 and giving them a three. That time has come to an end. If elected mayor, I intend to utilize any tax dollars to go towards necessary improvements to this city. And if we are to talk about things that are unaffordable, we either find a way to fund them or we leave them on the shelf. I believe in a city that takes tax dollars for the purpose of investing in the city, not its corrupt politicians. I don't believe in taking funding or self-appointed raises and that a board should be deciding when city municipal people increase their wages. I believe that funding from special interest groups should come to a close and conflicts of interests when it comes to energy boards and people serving on council that should not be there should be recused immediately. While I am all for freedom of expression, I am open to being criticized, I'm open to having people's opinions come out, and I'm open to hearing what people have on their minds. And listen to those who have concerns, not shut them out or block them. I do not take this position on as a form of vanity, as an ego boost, or for a pay scale. I take this challenge on to represent the city, to represent its people, to make this city what was once great, great again. I wish to give it back to the people that love it the most. And as a proud Canadian, as a proud Calgarian, I look forward to working for you, the taxpaying citizens. Thank you very much.